there is another group growing rapidly in the SDA church today whose teachings seem to undermine some of the teachings of the SDA church. Well, the first group is the LGBT movement within the SDA church, which we already know. You know, this LGBT group actually teaches that God is not against same-sex marriage or same-sex relationship, and that the Bible is not against homosexuality. Well, I have made a lot of videos about this group or this movement in the SDA church, so we do not want to wait time on this topic again. Now, let's move to the other group that is growing rapidly in the SDA church whose teachings are undermining some of the beliefs of the SDA church. This group I'm talking about is the love reality movement in the SDA church. There are misconceptions and false doctrines circulating about the salvation process. These false doctrines diminish sanctification. One false movement, you may not have heard about it, and that's fine, but it is circulating among some of our university and college campuses. It's called love reality. And it's been teaching this false understanding about Christ's full justifying and sanctifying righteousness. Now, these are derivatives of the false doctrine of once saved, always saved, which Seventh-day Adventists do not believe. Unfortunately, it is promoted that behavior is not important since God loves you and uh, just don't worry about uh, what you're doing as long as you feel embraced by God's love. God's love is powerful, important. But these false doctrines are very dangerous and should not be accepted since they destroy the entire understanding of Christ's justifying and sanctifying righteousness. We are facing, this is my opinion, we are facing the shaking and sifting period in the church right now. There are those who are drifting out of a clear understanding of who we are and what we believe. Do not be tempted with false doctrines that take you away from God's remnant church. We have been chosen for mission. So friends, that was Pastor Ted Wilson about the Love Reality Group. And uh, it looks like this group is one of the biggest threats to Seventh-day Adventist beliefs or to the SDA church apart from the LGBT group. In fact, when you visit the website of this Love Reality Group, you're not going to see anything special about the group. You're not going to find more information about what the group is all about. What this website only says is what I'm going to read to you right now. It says, we teach to everyone willing to listen that in Christ by faith, they are free from sin. Now, because of lack of details about this love reality group, there are some Adventists that have said that this group is a cult within the SDA church. I read an article about this love reality and I had some more information about it. So I want to share this article with you. Um, I'm not going to share everything because it's very long. I want to share some parts of the article with you and I'm going to put the link of that article in the description. So if you are interested, you can go there and read it for yourself. And also after this, I'll be sharing with you some of the clips of the Love Reality Group and some of their teachings that seem to undermine the teachings of the SDA Church. So let's go straight ahead to the article that I'm talking about and let's read something from this article. Okay, so this part of the article says, in my attempt to find some clarity on many of the questions and concerns regarding their organization and its presence at Union, I reached out to many of their apparent members who are very vocal about love reality on campus. This exchange between myself and those affiliated provided some clarity but in the end left me more confused. I reached out to five people with questions about love reality. Some clarified that they were not members of the organization but just strong supporters of them and their ministry. One of them even said, 
The actual organization is only made up of a few people. I found this comment interesting. It left me wondering what the requirements are to become a member. Also, why are only a few making up an entire organization? Another member said, Love Reality is made up by many Adventists. It seems that most people in the group grew up in the Adventist church and developed ideas about God that placed them under the law of man and not under the law of love. I also reached out to a faculty member who has expressed concerns about love reality. They said, The secrecy and exclusivity of the movement make it feel like a cult. If it is such great freedom for everyone, why all the secrecy? This person was referring to the challenge of assessing information about the organization. So friends, it seems like the Love Reality Group is such an amorphous group that so many people or so many Adventists don't really understand. Jonathan Leonardo is one of the leaders of the group. Now friends, let's get to some of their teachings that seem to undermine the teachings of the SDA Church, especially concerning the law and uh, some other things. You understand me? Some of us believe that ravens fed a man directed by God. Some of us believe that there was a man who stepped on a fiery chariot and just flew off into the heavens. Some of y'all believe that a legit iron axe head floated on water. Everybody's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, yep, yep. Why? Y'all are super confident. Why? Because it's written. In Christ by faith, you're free from sin. Whoa, buddy, hold on. Hold on, you don't know my life. Are you kidding me? You're willing to say that a dead Jewish peasant is the universe's king who will come back in glory. And at this point, when he tells us we're free from sin, we're like, whoa, whoa. Paul says some difficult things. I want to challenge you. Will you be willing to believe the word of God over your life this week? Are you willing to take a journey that says that your life is not what we've been told it is? And that our reality in Christ is not one that's disempowered and one day is going to get something, but that our reality in Christ is that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us now so that we are free now because Christ has set us free for freedom. Galatians 5.1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Yeah? I'm going to name three ways that we're free from sin and then we're going to go home. Just so you at least get an inkling of where we're going. Three ways. You ready? Rapid fire. Way number one, you're free from the power of sin. Okay? The Bible clearly teaches this. 1 Corinthians 15. You are free from the power of sin. You're going to be really surprised at what the power of sin is. I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. It's the law. That one hits real good for Adventist. <laughs> and be all right. I'm a seven-day Adventist pastor. Right? I affirm. But yet, I'm going to mess with y'all. Okay? You're free from the power of sin, and the power of sin is the law. I didn't make that up. I read it. 1 Corinthians 15. Go home. Check it out. It's around verse 52 to 56. 1 Corinthians 15, 52 to 56. The power of sin is the law, and you are dead to the law. You are free from the power of the law. Woo. So, friends, did you hear that? This is the group currently influencing many of our youths in the SDA church. Another information we heard about this group is that this love reality group is already baptizing and this is a video that i want to show you they are already baptizing baptizing into the sda church or baptizing into what that is the question we should ask ourselves friends this is not a joke this is not a joke well maybe you have had experience with the love reality group I want you to share that with us in the comment section. Is it a good group in the SDA church or just another group promoting heresy? All right, friends. So this is all that I had to share with you today. My name is Brother Lawrence. Thank you for watching and see you next time.